Today we'll be discussing ultrasound imaging of the carotid artery. So here with me I have a young lady and when studying the carotid artery, the first thing you want to do is extend the patient's neck back, okay? Not so far back where they stiffen up, but just extend it back a little bit and have them turn their head slightly to the opposite direction of where you will be scanning, okay? And so your carotid artery runs right from the clavicle here all the way up the neck and splits into the internal carotid artery and the external carotid artery, okay? So here on my ultrasound screen, um, I have the proximal CCA. You can see the jugular vein. You can actually see the valve in the jugular vein in that image. And that's the proximal CCA. I'm scanning towards the head, and you're, you're right about the mid-level of the common carotid artery. And further up is your distal segment. And also, as you go further up, you would see that that's split into your ICA and your ECA, okay? I know it's the ICA and ECA, but we'll go into that in a second, okay? So I'm going back down to her clavicle, and I'm going to turn sagittal on that image, okay? I'm going to go ahead and put a color on that image as well, and I'm going to steer my box, okay? So that's your proximal CCA, your mid-CCA, and I'm going towards her head into the distal CCA, okay? So that's the distal segment of the CCA there, okay? All right, so now we're going to go back to the proximal segment of the CCA now, and I'm going to go ahead and Doppler the waveforms. And that's the proximal CCA. I'm going to freeze that. And, of course, you're going to store your image. Just for time, we're not going to go into the measurement of the CCA. I'm going to go up into the mid-segment of the CCA. And again... I'm going to turn my Doppler gain down a little bit, okay, to keep that, um, keep the laminar flow. And that's your mid segment. I'm going to go further up ahead into the distal, okay, the distal CCA. And I'm going to go ahead and store that image as well. That's my distal CCA. Usually, I always recommend that if you're scanning a carotid artery to get your vertebral artery, you want to go ahead and angle back towards um, the back of the patient's head. And I always recommend you get your vertebral the same time you're getting your common carotid artery. And the um, reason I like you to do that is because you are able to identify retrograde vertebral flow if there is a retrograde vertebral flow. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, Obtain waveform of the vertebral artery. And of course, you're going to freeze that and also store that image as well. Again, when scanning your vertebral artery, you want to keep your CCA in view and slowly angle towards the back of the patient's head. You want to get your vertebral artery right after you're done with your distal CCA, okay? Now I'm going to follow that towards the head. I'm going to keep going towards the patient's head. I'm actually going to come out of Doppler here for a second. I'm going to increase my color box just a little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and get a vertebral um, flow. Actually, the bulb. I'm sorry. We're going to go ahead and obtain a bulb. And the bulb is right where your um, CCA splits into the ICA and the ECA. Okay? So that's my bulb. I'm going to go ahead and store that image again. Now, after getting the bulb, I always recommend you do your ECA first. Reason is all you need is one image of your ECA. So you want to go ahead and obtain your ECA. Um, how do you know which is the ECA? In most ECA, you would see a branch coming off right at the proximal segment there. And usually that first branch is your superior thyroid artery. Okay, so that's my ICA in that view. I'm going to go ahead and swing towards the face, and I would get an ECA. And usually you would see a branch coming off that ECA. I'm going to go ahead and steer my box again. I'm going to increase my color up a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and Doppler the ECA. Your ECA waveform is usually very high resistance, okay? And so that's your ECA. I'm going to store that image. Your ECA waveform, again, remember, is high resistance. 
And most time when you angle towards the face, you would see your ECA in some patients, okay? So the first thing is you want to look for a branch in the ECA. Second is when you get that waveform, you want to make sure it's high resistance. And also with your ECA, you angle towards the face, okay? Now I'm going to go into my ICA. I want you to try to remember the waveform we got from the ECA and you compare it to your ICA waveform in this case. And in this ICA, you would notice one thing. One, the um, diastolic flow is a lot more than the ECA, making the ICA a low resistance um, waveform. Okay, and I'm also going to turn off my IQ here so you can see um, the waveforms here in the ICA. You have a lot more end diastolic flow, so the ICA is a low resistant waveform pattern as opposed to your ECA, which is a high resistance waveform. Okay, I'm going to come out of that again, and we're going to go a little bit further up towards our head. That's me following the ICA. This is your ICA at the proximal. I'm swinging towards our head. And I'm swinging as high as I can. And of course, after a while, I'm going to hit the jawbone, and it's going to be very difficult to get into the ICA. Okay, so I'm going to get a waveform here of the ICA again. With the ICA, we expect a low resistance waveform pattern, okay? And you can see that again, that's your low resistant waveform pattern in the ICA. As opposed again to the ECA, I'm going to go ahead and go live again into the ECA just so you can see the difference in waveform. I'm going to turn down my color gain. Let me go back live again. ICA and towards the face is my ECA right there. I'm going to go ahead and take my um, IQ off again. And you can see the difference in waveforms between your ICA and your ECA. This is an ECA waveform. Again, it's very high resistance. So hopefully, I'm able to have gone over scanning a carotid artery as simplified as possible. And in case if you would like to learn more exam protocols doing vascular studies, you can pick up Vascular Technology Made Simple. This book is right on Amazon. And this simplifies vascular studies um, for you and helps you also understand more of anatomy when scanning your ultrasounds, okay? Again, you can reach me on Divine Scanning if you have any questions for me. Send me an email on scanning at gmail.com or you can also message me on Facebook at Divine Scanning. Thank you so much and have a good day.